Hey guys, this is Rachel. And I'm Mina. And we're here backstage at the 18th annual Kaiser Fashion Show, Paragon. They've raised over $200,000 for the Children's Health Foundation, and they're going to be adding $30,000 to that total tonight. Let's go backstage and check it out. So tell me about what today has been like getting ready for the show. It's been amazing. Honestly, we've just been here since 9. We got here at 9. So it's an early morning, but we've just been having so much fun backstage, practicing, going through the show. The excitement, the adrenaline, and just getting to celebrate that with everyone else is going to be amazing. Meeting all the amazing people through it, definitely. Like, I've made so many of my new close friends through the show, and just, like, the adrenaline rush right before hitting the stage, too. It's just, I can't wait. What's it been like as not a dancer, but being part of the show? It's been a big journey, for sure. I mean, a huge credit to my choreographer, Jin. She's absolutely amazing, and she's helped me be able to perform the way I'm going to today that you guys are going to see, for sure. And honestly, it's been an amazing experience. Um, it is a time commitment, but honestly, it's worth it. Like, the models put in so much work, and so do the exact team, and it's all for a good cause, so I'm happy to be, be a part of it. So we had to go through hundreds and hundreds of models. How do you choose the best one? Well, what we want to reach out to are the people who are very personable. So they'll you know, be people who love hanging out, love meeting new friends, and really care about the charity that we support. Which is really? So personality in a model? Yeah, you would be amazed. Like every one of these, as much as they're beautiful, they have amazing personalities. And it was really hard from like over 300 applicants, but we managed to select these, yeah. A lot of hard work has been going into this training. Can you tell me a little bit more about it? Um, countless hours. I can't even count how much I've, uh, well, we've all put into this. So as the executive director this year, what's been the most challenging thing or what's been the most rewarding thing for you as um, taking on this role? I think the most challenging thing uh, is probably the amount of work that goes into it and the dedication. Um, it's, it's challenging to bring together so many people under one vision.